Hello and welcome to GM Talks. Today we're gonna see a great positional chess lesson where uh, Fabiano Caruana just takes Ibrahim Pomniacci and shows him how to play with knight versus bishop. When is a bishop bad? You're gonna learn that. When, how to play, how to maneuver with the pieces. You're gonna improve in that area of the game by watching uh, this video. This is a long game, but it's also very instructive and it's really excellent uh, technique by Nimpomniachi. Remember to sign up for the email uh, list uh, so we can send you messages about new video whenever they arrive. We're also going to look a little bit of the isolated queen pawn position today uh, because uh, it's, it's a part of the opening. We have a masterclass in isolated queen pawn here. It's free and uh, people like it. So you should check it out if you have not seen it and don't know how to play with isolated queen pawn positions anyway let's jump into the game we have a long game ahead of us uh, by the way i think caro anna must have felt a little bit strange he was the main uh, commentator on uh, the ian nepomnici uh, versus ding liran match uh, and uh, it well to be honest i'm sure he he must have felt I can beat these guys, man. Come on. They're making all these mistakes. I am a better player than these guys. Uh, I should be able to... to I should have played this match. Uh, but unfortunately for Kawana, he has not really regained his form since he lost to uh, to Carlsen uh, after a, a long, interesting match. And uh, maybe he will, he will not come back. Who knows? And here we see that Nepomnici apparently appa uh, prepared the Simitaras uh, variation against uh, this setup with knight c3, knight f3 for white. Um, but here with, with, with these knights here, um, this is a main position. Here there's a lot of different ways you can go. You can play classical Queen's Gambit, you can play Semislav, you can play Vienna, you can play Ragosin, and so on. Uh, so it's, it's it's a, a really fork in the opening road here uh, and c5 is not a bad move i think i've i showed a game with, with where i played c5 uh, recently here on the channel you can check it out uh, in one of my main games and e3 is sort of saying okay no to the main line the main line is to take and knight takes he might have prepared e takes. It's not impossible with knight on f6. It used to to be, but it's there. There are some recent development in that kind of lines. Anyway, this uh, is a completely different game from what we get because after e3, knight c6, we have this symmetrical uh, Taras and take take and bishop b5. And this is. Uh, is sort of a, a reversed pan off uh, where the one tempo more uh, for uh, for white it's supposed to be fine for black and uh, to be honest i think nepomnici was very very well prepared he plays excellent here this this setup is 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 definitely uh, okay uh, and just protecting the pawn and attacking this one and doesn't want to take and then knight e5 is a good move um, putting immediate pressure on on c3 uh, and then he's ready to, to castle white of course would like to play something like like this uh, but at the moment this pin here is is a little bit annoying so he has to to find a way to solve that also black might actually in this position be threatening this move and followed by a check a knight d4 and maybe even queen h4 so you have to be a little bit careful about what you do here it is it is not so simple another move by a black might consider is queen a5 anyway uh nebomnesti uh Karana decides that there's nothing to do here. Uh, he has to weaken his position, so he plays f4. Uh, thereby, seriously, he weakens this position, this pawn. But mostly, of course, uh, this one is now a serious weakness. But he did manage to get this guy out of the way, uh, stopping this pin from from having uh, but okay why black now has a clear object of attack you want to play bishop b6 and uh, 
rain down on this pawn you would also like to play maybe knight g4 uh, and and so on so black really has to uh, white really have to hurry with the defense of e3 um, simple moves here will not work uh, you have to be for instance something like this might uh, might be made by uh, uh, knight g4 but also of course bishop b6 uh, and already you're threatening d4 might even play d4 uh, d4 is also interesting because remember this is with check so there's no uh, discover check here winning the queen um, knight e2 makes sense but you can see that White is not really fighting for an advantage here. Uh, he, has, he has a lot of holes in his, his position and a weakness here. Black, of course, still has this, this one here. And uh, this bishop is, of course, not the best bishop. We should make it another color, I think. Uh, because it's on the same color as these pawns. This will be important later. Bishop b6 makes a lot of sense attacking here uh, white exchanges pieces in general and that's a rule of thumb in general it's a, to the advantage of uh, of the player playing against the queen pawn uh, the isolated queen pawn to exchange pieces uh, the more they are exchanged the, the easier it will be to attack the pawn and the less the activity that you usually get with uh, an isolated pawn will mean it will not be that important uh, of course, uh, when he, also the chances that Black will be able to uh, to launch uh, an attack. Um, remember, I said it correctly this time. Uh, I have a problem with that word. Uh, is um, is 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 limited when when materials is disappearing. So they'll exchange here, but still, Black has activity. Uh, there are some weak squares on uh, on uh, and also attacking here and only active pieces so far so good we also see that there are this one eyes here and um a3 and decide to, to exchange the bishop ready for here and i think this position is absolutely equal uh, both have uh, weaknesses and and strength and so on um i i would not prefer any of 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 the colors here queen b2 and white's plan is simply to 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 do something with with the a pawn and then play rook c1 and exchange uh, the bishop sometimes this ending with this knight here against this bishop here can be good for white uh, and especially you don't uh, so so but when white black has a knight and so on it's it's not as much and and of course if this pawn could go back then you would be very happy with white because then it would be a slight but clear advantage here it's not so simple so and black does control uh, the c file here so what is white's plan here it is to gain control over the c file again so he will be able to exchange the rook and might have a little bit in the ending um, you don't want to play a middle game like this because black really does only have one weakness the d pawn and uh, if you're going to attack that you will have problem with the e pawn so first part is to not have anything that's not covered here so a4 makes sense um, and we see that black plays a5 and why do uh, you might black white uh, might be considering something at this point but the thing is you want to put your pawns on black so this bishop is uh, protecting the other squares uh, you don't need to protect the pawns so you need, because then it will make it the bishop even worse rook queen d2 b6 and i'm not sure you should hurry with these moves uh, but it it does make sense and here rook b1 uh, White is maybe toying with this idea, um, and Black decided to take it seriously, but at the same time still covering here, and King H2 out of the way, no checks, uh, and Black has to decide how, he, he does not want to be mated on uh, the back rank uh, when something happens, so how to, and you can see that you would maybe like to play g6 to control some squares but that weakens the dark square and you also put it on a white square so to play h6 makes more sense but still it, it would be nicer to have the pawn back on h7 because this weakens the white squares 
group B2. And here White found a way to challenge the, the C file. He's simply going to play here and uh, is ready for uh, this the thing. Black goes back. Maybe he should have gone to this square. And we're going to see why in a second. Um, because if he goes first to this square here, then after this and this, um, the and maybe something like if similar to the game, you can go here and uh, be able to take back with a pawn, changing to hanging pawns. But hanging pawns are pretty good when when there are this kind of weaknesses. So it's much more dynamic. And this, I think, I kind of like this for for this plan for black. Um, I'm not sure. I, I didn't follow the commentary, so I don't know if if, if they mentioned it. Queen e7, uh, rook c2, rook c5, and. And this move, knight f3. Um, and here you could also say that, okay, why not just play queen d8 to, to keep this option uh, open. Uh, but he decided to change. Still, nothing bad has really happened. Uh, black is fine in this position. Um, this is, is very equal. Uh, white just improves his position. One thing to know about uh, Karana is he's very patient and he's very good at keep playing on a very high level. This is one of uh, of the things he does. Um, and here uh, he apparently sets a trap uh, because no, he doesn't set a trap. Sorry. Uh, so and and we are black is white is finally ready to play something like this or maybe here. And here, uh, something weird happens to Nepomniachtchi. So far, no, uh, still very equal position. Nothing really is going on uh, at all. And here he decides to play this move, changing the position and having uh, a bishop versus a knight. And that is not a good idea. This is, is, is not losing yet, but it's, it's clearly a step in the wrong direction. And I don't know if he lost sort of patience or he just didn't understand what was going on. But it seems to me that, that it's somehow very clear here that this knight is superior to this bishop. It has a, a nice uh, stronghold here in uh, the center. And... And, and can with the queen uh, harass black in a lot of way. Uh, white has one weakness, and that's that pawn, uh, and maybe the king. But together they will, they will, and, and white, black will of course try to to gain some counterplay against uh, this. But it's not so easy. Bishop c6, queen e2. Now you just need to activate the queen to start attacking something. And we also see that black's king is not so safe. And this pawn is actually in the way here. Uh, it's, it's just, uh, uh, and, and this makes this bishop, even though this bishop has a lot of squares, it can go to a lot of places um, and, and room the board. It has nothing to attack. So it is actually a bad bishop, even though that's not sort of in the convention sense. Queen c2, queen a6, attacking the pawn, getting ready to attack the queen, uh, the, the king, and so on, and check. And uh, and this, of course, is, is Black's uh, hope, is, is he can generate some counterplay against these two here, and hopefully get the, this bishop into this diagonal, uh, tying down white. And white has to maneuver this. Um, and he does that very well. So he goes back and uh, and he's he's ready. He won now the C file and uh, where the queen is very well placed here. It attacks here and it attacks here. So it goes both way, both defense and attack. A general rule of thumb, a general rule of thumb in this kind of position is that when you can do something that both attacks and defense is usually very good. So look for that. Uh, and knight d4, and this is of course bad news for for black. Uh, this pawn is now uh, threatened, and uh, and and winning that would be really nice uh, for 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 white. Uh, something like this uh, can be made as much as something like this, and this looks this looks a little spooky, right? This does not look uh, very good. So um, I think 
that uh, black has to uh, to to play this move, but we we can now see that this pawn uh, this bishop is really bad uh, because now it's it's not only it's not cannot be defended anywhere before it could at least sit here, but it also has to guard this pawn on on f5 and uh, and and the knight here is 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 sort of controlling all the good squares. And defending here, so this is a a marvelous knight. Should probably do do this too, so it will be like a yeah swastika or something. Uh, queen c7. We see that the black squares are available. Of course, black will always try to go for counterplay whenever this happens. Uh, you can't move the king because then this pawn is 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 in trouble so uh, because you'll get a check so you have to move the knight back and um, here but we see that uh, he had uh, to he could not cover both uh, this one here and and this pawn here so uh, here goes a pawn uh, but can you get some kind of counter play it doesn't look it like it uh, still the knight is pinned here how does he solve that? Well, he threatens to exchange queens, and of course, knight uh, on d4 would 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 win uh, and check. And now a5 is falling. And what about b3? The problem with uh, the good thing for f the good news for white is that uh, there's also a threat here. So something like this is of course a total disaster uh, for for black. Uh, but even something like this, knight d4 attacks the queen, attacks the bishop, and attacks the pawn, and something like maybe this here, and f5 is falling. Uh, can't protect it. If you go something like this, it gets worse, because then <laughs> we will have a, a lost pawn ending. So. He has to. He cannot take it. Check and and this, by the way, and uh, I'm not sure. I think that was a was a was a smarter way to do it um, because this looks a little bit scary. But he still have uh, control, um, and of course uh, the queen ending will be uh, will be winning for 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 white, uh, mostly due to the problem that black will have with the king that you can combine attack and defense uh, and, and and winning some some pawns here. Uh, and this is is again, uh, it does defend this even though it's attacked twice, but it more more importantly, it attacks here. And after this move, he did manage to uh, protect this one and protect this one. And attack this one. So if this one, then this one, and you can easily uh, get to to play for us in this move and, and and cover this one. And and this is a total disaster for 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 Black uh, that that he if he loses this f four. So uh, this is already seriously bad. Uh, Black is is in in very serious trouble. Queen c five. Nice little move. Um, White is of course hoping to to get this going, uh, and he does prepare something like, uh, for instance, if if this move, uh, I think uh, just this move uh, is is fine. You could also go to this move, but the queen here looks better, um, and uh, and winning f5 again, or uh, yeah, yeah, actually winning f5, um, no matter what. So so back felt compelled to defend f5. That's uh, one more pawn on white, making this bishop uh, even worse, even though it could not really uh, utilize these squares. King e1. So we're coming, coming uh, out of the pin. And uh, basically, and, and queen uh, b1, you just go knight c1. I can show, I think. Something like this. I think here and there's just just nothing, nothing at all, uh, and and the, and you already threaten um, this one and winning uh, the bishop. So king g8. 
out of the, this this check but we, we can and and the, this, this is very instructive always go close uh, with the with the queen in things like this uh, and this of course now is, is totally winning but this and this is 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 the simplest way now black white is coordinated he's one one pawn and remember a, a good rule of thumb is a good rule of thumb you only need to win pawn because you only need to win one game if that makes sense so if you're gonna win you need to win more games uh, in the same game which makes no sense uh, then you, you should get more pawns but otherwise you just need one pawn and here uh, we have uh, if we sum up the advantages white have in this position we can say that yes fantastic knight versus uh, bad bishop and we have uh, extra pawn then we have a uh, weak black structure here that's uh, not working and uh, we have a bad king so that's a lot of advantages and uh, of course way too much for poor black uh, so first let's get the king out of the way now we want a pawn and uh, we, we want to avoid this counterplay with the knight being pinned all the time on, on this uh, situation so it's going and it might at some point go to uh, here uh, but that will be in the distant future now the queen uh, should be ready to be activated in order to, to do that we will push the pawn um, of course uh, don't take that one because then the e d pawn is, is, is dangerous so you just go here and here he fell for the trick uh, Karen is really good at calculating stuff like this so here check and um, and no matter what the, the bishop will drop and here you can also and of course the smartest way to to take it is is this one and here we resigned uh, you gotta move here and you take with the knight covering this one so nothing uh, to see here so an excellent performance by Koana um, just taking an apology and uh, it's it's, it's, it's a brilliant game and remember to like subscribe and uh, tell all your friends about this channel so we can get some more viewers uh, I'm working my ass off here uh, this was DM talks thank you for watching <laughs>